Hi everyone, I'm Alex, Madeline's husband. I'm here to talk to you today about, uh, you know, doing a little prep work for uh, your partner's upcoming surgery. Uh, things are going to change real fast, you're going to be busy, and you want to be prepared. So here's a couple of things that I found were helpful. First off, you're going to want to shop. And I'm not talking about the clothes or anything like that, just basic household supplies. You're going to need to have food, and you're going to need to have cleaning supplies. Just regular household necessities. You know, Amazon.com is your friend. Have some toilet paper. Have some paper towels. Remember, I said you're going to clean. You know, anything like that, get it done. Talking about cleaning. Well, first off, you don't want to give someone food poisoning. You know, you just, you're going to be busy and you don't want to be stuck with that. Another thing about cleaning is a lot of us have our little furry friends. They're adorable, they're fun but they're also disease bags. So if your cat is in the habit of going up on the counter, you need to put a stop to that. You know, if you have to, get a super soaker, get some bathroom paint, and uh, have yourself a little fun. Oh, poor kitty. Another good thing to have, a bucket. I like this one because uh, she could use it as a step stool, and because if there was ever an accident, well, you can guess what that's used for. When you're shopping, a couple of food items that I really like. So you'll probably start off on clear liquids. Um, Progresso chicken broth, this stuff is awesome. Unlike most canned broth, it comes in an easily resealable container. I'm pretty sure that uh, stores like Trader Joe's, um, you know, Global Market have something like this, you know, store brand. Um, I know that Butterball makes one, it's really good. It's nice to have something that's resealable because you're going to be serving out very small portions, often only about four ounces or so. Um, you know, vegetable broths good too, as are beef broths. Little trick here, uh, your partner's going to get very tired of plain old broth. So you might want to serve something a bit more flavorful while still being clear liquid. I like cans of soup for that. Little trick, you take uh, something like this. This is actually a tea strainer from Tivana. You can just pour the soup out right through here. You get the rest of the soup. Your partner gets their, you know, two to four ounces or whatever they're getting of broth. And it's a heck of a lot tastier than, you know, just something like this. The other thing you can do is fill this full of fresh veggies. You know, pour some uh, boiling broth in there. And there you go. Just take it right out and you've got something tasty. Along the lines of portioning, you're going to want lots of measuring cups. Um, unfortunately, these tend to come in big sets, but if you can order like, you know, half cup, quarter cup uh, measuring devices, get a lot of them because you don't want to have to wash it every single time it's time to eat. Now, because you're serving such small portions, you're going to want to get some small things to eat out of because it's really demoralizing to have to see everyone around you eating off of normal size uh, dishes, plates, and bowls, especially because Madeline had surgery on the holidays. So, you know, we had some ramekins, and here's an example of a little mason jar that I got at a farmer's market. You know, just uh, keep the morale up. Other thing we found that was nice to have around is uh, sports drinks. Um, Madeline had the gastric sleeve. These were okay. I don't know how they would be for someone with the rune Y. You're going to have to talk to your doctor about that, but we were told to dilute them 50%, so just take something like this, fill it up with water. Other thing, lots of jello. Anyway, I hope those uh, little tips kind of help you out, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.